Want to speak real Hungarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at HungarianPod101.com. Hi everyone, this is Lena and you're watching HungarianPod101.com's top words. And today's topic is 20 words you'll need for the beach. Let's go! Napszemüveg Sunglasses Napszemüveg which means sunglasses. Épp most vettem egy új napszemüveget. I just bought a pair of sunglasses. Strand Beach Strand Beach A strand nincs messze a hotelünktől. The beach is not far away from our hotel. Úszás Swimming Úszás Swimming Az úszás a kedvenc sportom. My favorite sport is swimming. What is your favorite sport? Do you like swimming? Tell us in the comment section. Nap Sun Nap Sun A nap fényesen süt. The sun shines bright. Pálmafa Palm tree Pálmafa Palm tree Pálmafák sorakoznak az út mentén. There are palm trees along the road. Kagyló Seashell Kagyló Seashell Szeretek kagylókat gyűjteni a parton. I like gathering seashells on the shore. Yeah, that's actually true. So whenever I go to the beach, I wait until the sun is down. So I like walking along the shore and then collecting some nice seashells. Ocean 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 Még sosem láttam az óceánt. I've never seen the ocean. Vizimentő Lifeguard Vizimentő Lifeguard A vizimentő épp most mentett ki egy kisfiút a medencéből. The lifeguard just saved a young boy from the pool. Jet ski Jet ski Jet ski. Jet ski. Egy piros és egy kék jet ski van a parton. There is a red and a blue jet ski on the shore. Strandszék. Beach chair. Strandszék. Beach chair. Hány strandszéket hoztál? How many beach chairs did you bring? Homokvár. Sandcastle. Homokvár. Sandcastle. A gyerekek homokvárat építenek. Children build a sandcastle. Hűtőtáska. Cooler bag. Hűtőtáska. Cooler bag. Sokféle gyümölcslé van a hűtőtáskában. There is lots of kinds of juice in the cooler bag. Apály. Low tide. Apály. Low tide. Apálykor megtelik a strand a turistákkal. At low tide, the beach fills up with tourists. Napbarnítottság Tan Napbarnítottság Tan Az emberek úgy tartják, hogy a napbarnítottság egészséges külsőt ad. People say that getting a tan gives you a healthy look. Búvárkodás Snorkling Búvárkodás Snorkling Ezen a részen megengedett a búvárkodás. In this area, snorkeling is allowed. Strandpapucs Flip-flop Strandpapucs Flip-flop A strandpapucsom narancsárga. My flip-flop is orange. And that's true. Fényvédő Sunscreen Fényvédő Sunscreen Hoztál fényvédőt magaddal? Did you bring sunscreen with you? It's very important to have, especially for me. Bikini 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 A kirakatban láttam egy rózsaszín bikinit. I saw a pink bikini in the shop window. Napernyő Parasol Napernyő Parasol Szükségem van egy napernyőre, mert erősen süt a nap. I need a parasol because the sun is shining too strongly. And I brought my... It's not a parasol, but almost. <laughs>
ยีครีมไอศครีมยีครีมไอศครีมสระตัวยีครีมแอด Do you like ice cream? Do you like ice cream? Hey everyone, welcome to your monthly review, the monthly show on language learning, where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, new study tools, resources, and where we show off learners like you speaking the language. That is, if you're brave enough to participate and become language learning famous. All the materials mentioned in this video are available for you right now on our website. Click the link in the description to sign up for your free lifetime account and start speaking in minutes. Okay, today's topic is why your worst days are the best days to study. So, have you ever had a day where you planned on learning language and you just couldn't go through with it? Even if learning a new language is your personal goal, something that you really want. Well, today you're going to learn one why these bad days happen, and two. Why you'll get your best work done on your worst days. Let's start. Why bad days happen with language learning. When I say bad days, I don't mean when you're too busy or when life gets in the way. These things are unavoidable. I mean days when you're just not in the mood. It's a perfectly good day. The sun is shining. No bad news. But you just can't get yourself to study. You're just wasting the day. So here's why they happen. First, it's the law of diminishing returns in action. What does this mean? Think of it as eating pizza every day for five days a week. On the first day, the first two slices are great, but by the third one, you're feeling queasy. It's not as good, and by the fifth day, you're sick of pizza. That's the law of diminishing returns when the benefits start decreasing over time, and it happens with language learning. When you first start, you learn a lot of phrases, and it feels good. You're excited. But as time goes on, you don't feel like you're learning much, and this affects your mood and motivation. So you're not as excited to learn anymore. So you start having bad days. Second, bad days happen because you overthink things and ruin it for yourself. It's like dreading going to the gym. Let's say you went yesterday. You have to go again today. So you're dreading it all day long. Ah, I gotta go again. You set yourself up for a bad mood and a bad day. Third, bad days are a natural part of the cycle. Some days will be good. Most days you'll feel indifferent. Some days will be bad, but that's completely natural. And anyone with long-term projects and goals feels the same. And fourth, you can't be on 100% of the time. So just like days can't always be good, you too can't always be on and ready to go all the time. Again, just a realistic and expected part of the journey. Now let's jump into the second part. Why you'll get your best work done on your worst days. So, why will you get your best work done? First, it's not that bad once you start. Once you've spent 10 or 15 minutes learning a language, it's not so bad. People say the same thing about the gym. If you show up and put in a bit of time, it gets easier. Second, it's overcoming a mental barrier. What I mean is, when most of us have bad days, our brain automatically says, "Okay, can't be done today. Stop. We're done." But If you just work through it, you don't take these bad days so seriously anymore, and that means you're more likely to stick with your language learning goal. This brings us to the next point. Third, it's your best work because working on a bad day only strengthens your habit of language learning. Remember, habits are what will help you master a language over time. If you can stick to a habit on a bad day, your habit only gets stronger, and it will lead you to fluency. And finally, fourth. It just feels good to overcome something. Imagine you have a bad day, but you still put in 10 minutes of language learning. It's a real sense of achievement, and it doesn't matter if you do a 10-minute lesson or a 5-minute lesson. The fact that you made some progress on a bad day will give you the motivation you need to keep going. Now, speaking of lessons, here are this month's new lessons and resources. First. The best of 2018 language learning cheat sheets. If you want to get access to all of our conversation cheat sheets that we sent out this year, here's your chance. Download this PDF bundle right now. Next, the brand new supermarket cheat sheet. With this cheat sheet, you'll learn must-know shopping phrases and vocab for meats, vegetables, and all products that you'll find in a supermarket. And finally, the most common adjectives. If you're a beginner and don't yet know these adjectives, Then this is a perfect chance to boost your vocabulary. 
This one minute lesson will get them stuck in your head, guaranteed. To get these free lessons and resources, just click the link in the description below. All right, everyone. Now we're asking you to submit a video or audio file of yourself speaking the language. If you do, you'll win three free months of access to our learning program, which includes your very own teacher. Here's the challenge for you. Yes, everyone watching this. Record a 30 second to one minute video or audio clip. Introduce yourself in the language. Share your name, where you're from, and why you're studying this language. And you'll win a three month Premium Plus subscription. To submit, click on the link in the description. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Then fill out the form, attach the audio or video file, and press submit. We may feature you in next month's episode. So a lot of learners will see you and your progress and will hopefully get inspired to improve and master the language. To submit a recording, click the link in the description and follow the instructions on the page. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to set achievable language learning goals and resolutions. In the meantime, submit your recording if you're brave. Like and share this video and leave a comment to tell us what language learning tactics you'd like us to talk about. See you next time. Bye. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations or even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. 
If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye. Today, we're going to talk about four techniques to help you stop translating in your head and instead start thinking in your target language. This will allow you to have conversations with ease, read smoothly, and better understand native speakers. These are four methods to help you think in a new language. Number one, surround yourself with your target language. This way, you'll be completely immersed in the language. Without realizing it, you'll learn pronunciation, sentence structures, grammar, and new vocabulary. Play music in the background while you're cooking, or have a radio station on while you study. Just use one of our endless podcasts available to you. These are easy to listen to in the background while doing other things. Number two, learn through observation. This is how we all learned our native languages as kids. Words will develop their own meanings that relate better to your target language, rather than meanings that are translated directly. Number three, speak out loud to yourself. Even if you're a little embarrassed, it forces you to listen to how you speak. It makes it much easier to spot simple grammar mistakes. Number four, practice daily. If you practice everything for only one day, you won't retain the information you learned. The brain can realistically only focus for about 30 minutes. So studying a little every day allows you to absorb better. Follow these steps and have patience. You'll soon be able to achieve your language learning goals. Just make sure to remember these four methods. Sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. And start learning more every day.